The Story of Prophet Dawood The people of Banu Israel were oppressed, mistreated, and forced to leave Jerusalem. Allah blessed them with a great king to help them take back what was theirs. King Talut gathered all the believers and led them into battle against Jalut and his fearsome army. As they stood face to face, Jalut challenged the army of Banu Israel to select someone from them to duel with him. Sadly, no one stepped forward except for a young man named Dawood, peace be upon him. King Talut covered him in armor and handed him a sword, worried that Dawood would lose the battle. Dawood took off all his battle gear and stepped in front of the enemy with nothing but a slingshot and a bag of stones. As Jalut laughed at his tiny competitor, Dawood whipped out his slingshot and knocked him out with a single stone. Dawood helped King Talut bring peace to Jerusalem and became king after him. Allah chose Dawood to be his prophet and blessed him with a book called the Zabur, as well as the ability to understand animals. The animals would gather around him and praise Allah with him. Prophet Dawood fought many wars for his people. Before one of the battles, his army was struggling with heavy armor. Dawood sat thinking about how to mold the metal to make the armor more efficient, and Allah gave him the ability to mold with his bare hands. The day Prophet Dawood died, his son called the birds to shade him until he was buried. Dawood was a blessed king and his kingdom was passed on to his son, the Prophet Suleiman.